Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the tarot cards and astrology stars come together to help you by combining the visual messages of the tarot and the energy of astrology, you can be prepared for the opportunities and the challenges that are coming your way this month. I hope you will like this video and also press the little bell for notifications when my new videos come out. The tarot card for the first week of the month is the Magician which represents the powers of creation. The tarot card for the second week of the month is the Five of Pentacles, which represents a time of challenge. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the Sun, which represents joy and success. And the tarot card for the last week is Judgment, which represents spiritual renewal. Libra, the tarot card for the first week of the month is the Magician. This represents the ability to use all of the different elements in the act of creation. It's a very dynamic energy and suggests that whatever has been purged will make way for an energy that is much more constructive and creative. It also suggests there is a spiritual power that is being used on the earth plane. Now, as we look down into the astrology, the month begins with a full moon in Aquarius and your fifth house. Now, life is not a dream, but you may be dreaming about your favorite fantasy, especially when it comes to love and romance. This is a good time to be more realistic by focusing on your ability to network by listening closely to others. Now, Venus is still retrograde in Leo, and your 11th house of associates putting more emphasis on adjusting so that you can change your personal values and how they help you integrate yourself into groups of like-minded people. The sun is also in the 11th house and squares Jupiter, and Jupiter's in your 8th house. And that's the house of shared energy, warning you not to be too pushy by mixing business and pleasure and maintain your personal boundaries. The tarot card for the second week of the month is the Five of Pentacles. It is thought to be a challenging card. It shows two desperate people walking past a church window in a snowstorm. It suggests a difficult time of suffering, which could be abated. The problem is the people are walking away from what might be their glimmer of hope. If the people would only reach out for spiritual help, they would find it. Now, as we look into the astrology, the second week rumbles as the moon will conjunct Jupiter and Uranus in your eighth house of shared energy. This can be a double-edged sword when it comes to partners, sensuality, and joint investments. The Moon-Jupiter energy lets you feel a new source of energy and opportunity. But the later Moon-Uranus energy can bring chaos and uncertainty in sensual, business, and financial types of situations. So do not mix business and pleasure. Now the moon will move into Gemini and the ninth house will square Saturn and Pisces in the sixth house, suggesting your beliefs about your work and the demands of others may not be a good fit. The sun will conjunct retrograde Venus in your 11th house. And this is the house of associates. So it suggests that Social values may need some type of readjustment, and this might not be a good time to network with others. The tarot card for the third week is the sun. This is the high season for the sun. There is great hope for the future as we are gathered together with our friends and loved ones, and we share the gift of the summer season. We are reminded with vacations, happy events, and celebrations. There is light in the world. 
This is a good time to heal wounds, enjoy your blessings, and try to make peace. Now as we look into the astrology, the third week begins with the sun moving into Virgo and your twelfth house. Now this will put a focus on the way you understand your inner self and how you deal with your own sense of personal limitations. Use this energy to take time to be quiet so you can examine how you hold yourself back and how you can develop your inner spiritual strength. Retrograde Venus in Leo and your 11th house will square Jupiter in Taurus in your 8th house. Now this challenge warns you not to be excessive with friends and associates. Stay within proper boundaries so that you don't cause any trouble. And watch your sensuality. Now to complicate things, a bit uh, more Mercury in Virgo energy will go retrograde at the end of the week. So you're going to need to keep your secrets pure and watch what you say in confidence. The tarot card for the final week of the month is Judgment. It shows the angel Gabriel blowing the horn of awakening. You can see the people rising up from what appears to be a graveyard to a new life. This represents the possibility of a new beginning and a higher level of consciousness. Now as we look down into the astrology, the month ends with retrograde Mercury affecting your 12th house. This suggests you may have to look carefully at your spiritual beliefs. Are they helping or hindering you? Make sure you are not limiting yourself with fear of failure. Now Mars will enter Libra and your first house, increasing your energy, your desire, and your need for action. Just remember, others may be watching, so stay poised. Uranus will go retrograde in Taurus in your eighth house of shared energy. So you may face some unexpected events through joint finances and sensuality. So control your passions. And there is a hyper-sensitive full moon at the end of the month in your sixth house. And that warns you to go easy emotionally, but to keep focused at work. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like this video, subscribe, and ring the little bell to be notified when new videos come out. And if you'd like to arrange a private psychic and spiritual reading with astrology, just go to my website, internetpsychicreadings.com or professorastrology.com.